free BSD reviews, tutorials and gaming. Open TDD is a business simulation game in which players try to earn money via transporting passengers and freight by rail, road, water and air. It's an open source remake and expansion of the 1995 video game Transport Tycoon Deluxe. The idea is that you create an infrastructure. In this case, I'm uh, planting some trees, which uh, is very essential. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is that I'm just simply going to... I'm going to clear a path, I think, and uh, you see that landlocked lake? I'm just going to try and connect the landlocked lake to the main ocean. Why? Because it seemed like a good idea at the time. And you got all the various tools to flatten the landscape. You can then create the waterways and docks. And uh, pretty much create your own little mini infrastructure in this little part of it. Here I am. I'm um, trying to uh, get to grips with the game. It's a game which I haven't played for a long time. Um, I remember playing variants of this on the Amiga back when the Amiga was uh, more prominent. And I never played it on the PC, but yeah, it seems a very good. It's um, it's a very complex game. You have a lot of uh, d balls in the air. It's a very complex game. You have a lot of things to juggle. Um, and you have to micromanage almost every aspect of the world that you create in order to earn the money. But yeah, it's a good game. Open TDD is an example of an open source extension of a once proprietary um, mainstream game, which is excellent. The latest stable release uh, of OpenTDD is 1.9.1. .1. That was released on the 8th of April 2019, so, you know, it's still under active development. Uh, the original release, uh, which was version 0.1, uh, was on 14th of March 2004, so what, 15 years. 15 years of active development, which is not too bad. And the great thing about this game is, because it's cross-platform, is that mean you can um, you can start playing on a Windows machine, start playing on a Linux machine, and when you make the final push to move over to FreeBSD, which I'm sure that many of you will, that you can then take with you the saves that you've made and load them into your FreeBSD machine, so no one loses. Well, Wildlands is best described as uh, a real-time strategy game, or RTG for those in the know. And it's very similar to The Settlers and Settlers 2. Well, it actually does take a few ideas from The Settlers and Settlers 2. And it's still in active development. Uh, what's remarkable about this game is that it runs on several operating systems, um, Obviously, the mainstream ones, uh, Windows, Mac OS X, Linux, FreeBSD, of course. But also, now, it runs on Amiga OS 4, which is fantastic. The newest build, which is build 20, was released on May the 2nd, 2019. And it's been going at least 10 plus years. Which, like OpenTTD, is a fantastic achievement for an open source game. It's a game which like open tdd is one which is very much time consuming and you will always find new ways to explore and build if it's a brilliant game and it has a very cheeky sense of fun about it or well, free call is a clone of sid meyer's colonization um well a clone it's um, an inspiration from colonization and remarkably, FreeCall is mostly programmed in Java, which is an achievement in itself. And it's very much platform independent. Again, like OpenTDD and Wastelands, the saves are interchangeable between the different platforms. So the idea is, um, it's a turn-based uh, strategy game where you can explore, set up camps. You can be friends with the natives. Or you can, as is uh, often the case, have conflicts. 
of the resources and just generally make discoveries. It's not as easy to control as some other games, but once you get hang of it, it's uh, it's very good. It's very addictive. You have so many turns per character, and then when you've used up their number of turns, it's time for the opposition to have a go. In this case, uh, computer controlled. The initial release of Free Call was 16 years ago. Again, another long-standing development. The last release was 2015, which uh, means it's probably stalled for now. So I don't know the current status of the project, which would be a shame if it actually um, doesn't progress any further. Or maybe it's just reached a point in which they think perfection has been achieved. Which either case, you know, that's fine. But it would be good to see further development uh, on this uh, wonderful game. I'm just looking at the information on Free Call, and it's available in 54 different languages, which is very good. Mind test should be fairly familiar to most users who's ever seen uh, a video or pictures of Minecraft. It's an open source inspired version of it. It's a voxel based game and is available for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, FreeBSD, OpenBSD, Dragonfly BSD and Android. So again, portability there for the game saves. There is an online multiplayer. Uh, as you can see on the video, there's uh, different worlds are created by different people online. This seems to be a nighttime forest. And we have a desert world. Very much like Minecraft, you can create uh, entire worlds, communities. Uh, the online one is persistent in nature. That means that you can create something, log off, come back a few days later, and it should still be there as long as the server that you originally logged on to is still active. Um, there are different environments online, of course. People get very creative. Uh, there are creative servers where you do nothing but build. There are survival ones where there's an element of uh, combat and exploration servers. You can, of course, if you don't want to go online, you can play purely on a local basis. You could even set up your own uh, LAN. So if you have one or two different machines running it as clients, you can have a server running and do it that way. So it, uh, the scope is is quite wide for this game. I love this game. This game uh, is a game which I've spent many, many happy hours on. 